Hi everybody, my name is Claire and welcome to Design Tip Tuesday. If you don't know what's going on, I'll let you know. So each and every Tuesday, I'm going to be giving away free design advice. It's very easy to become in the know. All you have to do is go to the website, www.clairehalldesign.com, sign up for the mailing list, and each and every Tuesday, you will be receiving a video of yours truly giving away free design advice. This week's advice has to do with the dreaded topic of hanging artwork. So many of you out there hate to hang artwork, and I guess I don't blame you. It's not like it's the most interesting thing to do in the world. However, it is so very necessary. Time and time again, I'll go over to clients' homes, and I'll see this artwork that they've purchased leaning up against a wall, or sitting on the floor, or in all of these places that it's just not supposed to be. So I've come up with a little trick to help make this task less daunting. The worst type of art to hang is the art that you get that has those little clips on the side or if it's um, a wood carving it has in the back uh, carved out little holes so that you have to get the nails or screws exactly in the right place to be able to hang it properly. I received this amazing piece of art from one of my friends actually the other day they surprised me with it. She has a wood etching company, and this was one of my paintings that she converted into a wood etching. I was so excited to get it, so flattered, and uh, so excited to get it on my wall. And then when I turned it around, I saw, oh no, the dreaded hanging system. I have no idea how to hang this. So I came up with a really easy tip and trick, and I wanted to share it with you. All I did was took a piece of tape and measured the space between the two holes and just make sure that you put the end of the tape exactly where you want your nail or screw to be. The next step is peel off the tape and put that on your wall where you want your painting or picture to hang. Now here's a, another tip and I don't want you to make the mistake that I did. Make sure you use a level when putting the tape on your wall. I didn't, I didn't think that I needed to. I thought I could just eyeball it. And I couldn't. I messed up. So I had to do it twice. So just make sure you don't make that mistake and use a level. Put the nails or the screws right at the very end points of the tape and voila, you're ready to hang your art. I hope you found this tip useful. I hope you enjoy all of the beautiful new hung artwork all over your home. And make sure you sign up for the mailing list, www.clairehalldesign.com. And I will see you next week for Design Tip 3. Thanks.